What's going on, y'all? It's Susi Lario Hernandez here. In this video, I'm going to be talking about input validation in C++. Um, as you may know, I have a video out that has, uh, you know, basically what I'm showing you here, but it, it's just a video with music in the background, and I, I'm not really explaining what's going on. So I figured I'd make a video explaining what, what's going on exactly um, <clears throat> in the input validation video. So here I have a C++ file. Uh, the very first thing is... Um, we're going to create a variable called uh, num number. Here we, we ask the user to enter a number. And then, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you the program without input at validation. So it asks for a number and then it takes in, uh, it, it reads in a number that, that the user enters, okay? So on the terminal, g++ minus std equals c++11. And then uh, input dot cpp file. Um, I have this file currently on my desktop within a directory called input val. And then here's the C++ file. So it's compiling right now. I spelled the file name wrong, so let me retry that. Index enter. Okay, so it compiled a dot uh, a out. So enter a number. So normally, if you enter a number. You know, it, it, it takes in the number, right? There, there's no problem there. So I'm, just real quick, I'm going to uh, output the number that the user entered. Okay, let's do that again. Retr uh, refresh. I'm sorry, recompile. And then enter number 7. Okay, your number is 7. Good. So that's working there. Let's put a line break here. Okay, so, so that's how it works. Now... We're gonna try input validation without without the actual pro. I mean, so watch this. So if I if I rerun the program, <clears throat> recompile and then rerun, and then say I enter a letter. If I enter a letter, your your number is zero, so that's not gonna work. Let's try entering like a string. If we enter a string, nothing there. Let's say we enter negative four. It's going to show us negative four, right? Okay, so obviously it's not working with strings. So over here, to change to change our program around, we need to put this here inside of a while loop. Okay, so let's what we're going to do is put a while loop and cn. So basically, what we're saying is while the input is not a number, you know, not of this this data type which is an int then we have to well first we ex explain the error okay so next thing we, is very important we have to uh, clear the clear the previous input uh, from anything that the user has typed in there because I think I think it's the buffer I'm not sure what it is but but it's it's still inside of the memory that the what the person had entered so we have to clear that and then after we clear it we have to discard the previous input so ignore this function dot ignore and then this this number right here that you put first um, uh, you put a number here it takes two parameters you, it's a number and then um, or this character here so we're gonna say let's clear the last 22 inputs that the user put in there so um, the cn dot number you just erase this because this takes the place of it. So normally you would put the C in right here, right? But since it's in the while loop right here, you no longer need it at all there. The, you only need it here because the pro it, the program reads through, and then when it gets here, it looks for the C in dot number, and, and the user hasn't entered anything yet. So it asks them to enter a number, and then if while it's it's not an integer, it's going to give them the error, and then if it is an integer, it's just going to come skip this whole logic here, and then and then read this here. So let's compile it, recompile. Syntax error. Semicolon. Okay, so let's enter a six. Okay, six works. Let's rerun it again. We'll enter a character error so there's our error enter a number so if we enter another character it continues to <coughs> give us the error message because it's it's not an integer so let's try a string same thing 
So if we put a number again there, <clears throat> then our program exits the while loop and enter, displays the number. There you go, you guys. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it's helpful for you. If you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them in the description below. Um, <clears throat> I have a GitHub repository that has a collection of input validation for integers, uh, characters, and strings. So I'll leave that in the link in the description below. Check that out. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and share. Have a good one.